This week of scrims, we had a lot of sick people. So we actually ended up canceling some of our scrims and we didn't really get that much practice. So I was actually like really worried about this week of stage games. Scrims have been iffy because um, players have been sick a lot actually. So I was kind of worried going into the, uh, the week, especially against Vitality. Also Silas was enabled, which was a, a big, uh, like, we were, like we were scared about how he would perform, right, if we got him. So uh, it, was, it was definitely not the best week of scrims we've had, probably the worst one I would actually say. The players know as long as you play with full confidence and we should have confidence in our ability, that shouldn't matter too much, but of course that's to be seen when playing against Vitality and Fnatic. I think it's possible that we could go the whole split without losing a game. I think it's a very realistic possibility, yeah, but I don't want to focus too much on it. I kind of feel like a loss at some point might be actually good for us. Um, for me at least, like to keep me grounded, you know, losing one game is always like, when you're winning a lot, losing one game is like kind of a shocker. So I think if we, if we get too cocky, we can still end up not even top two. So it's very early, in the, I mean, not that early, it's kind of middle of the split now, but by like week eight, you can for sure say if someone is going to end up first or not. So. I won three. I won three. I won three. You're like take my titles away now, Mickey. It's the only thing I have actually. It's spring 2016, Charles 2016, spring 2017. But could it be cast? There's so much time. If he goes for CS, at least. Look, 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 no, I, I can it. ult, I can just ult, no? Okay, okay, yeah. right, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I understand you can do that, but we can also just do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, point. My bad. I think push yeah, back. I think, yeah, yeah. I, I, think I ult right now and yeah. we just contest Drake. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's something's good, yeah. The blank behind us, the behind us. I ult, I ult. I get the blank. I'm flanking that, I'm flanking that. Go, 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 go. The blank dead. We can go Nash. No? Yeah, you can. No, kill this guy. Can we go Nash after? Nash after? Yeah, TP guys. Yeah, TP guys. Yeah, TP guys. Yeah, TP guys. He's tipping mid. He's tipping mid. Why is he tipping mid? I got him. Help me, help me, dude. I'm low. I mean, I can lifesteal. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get this one. Let's go Nash. Let's go Nash. Let's go Nash. I can TP. I can TP. G2. In our match of the week, show they are without power left at the moment in the LEC. No one can stop them. No one can stand up to the G2 army. So going up against Fnatic will be weird uh, because I usually, usually, I mean, I, I haven't had that many teammates that I played against, and especially not the kind of teammates that I had in Fnatic where we have been together for a long time, right? Um, but they are not really looking too strong right now, so I'm, I'm pretty confident. But at the same time, I'm also a, a bit scared about, uh, I'm not necessarily scared, but I'm just a bit worried about how they. Uh, like about playing against them because I know I know so much about them and they know so much about me, so it's gonna be a bit personal. It's it's quite apparent that Caps wants to win against his former team that he's been with for two years, and I think he's a 
he's a very mature player already, so I don't think anyone has had to give him advice. So I don't think Caps has extra pressure going against Fnatic. Um, sure, of course, he wants to win a bit more than usual, but I think it's more of a positive uh, reinforcement there, so I don't think anybody has to intervene and turn on to worry too much. I don't think it's disingenuous to say that this is probably a fairly emotionally charged match. Yeah. You know, you saw Yankos' face in the pick and ban, uh, getting his team tied up, getting them going. Uh, there is a lot on the line, and while this is super heavy favorite to G2, uh, this one probably gonna sting. Oh, take a look at this. Perks and Mickey, they're running down Hilly. 100 HP, flash forward. First blood picked up by Perks and Mickey. They're not done just yet. Look, yeah, a flash. Okay, I need help. It's not on, it's not on, it's not on, it's not on. I'm here, I'm here. Think we win, no? Yeah, yeah, we win, we win. Yeah, we do. Well, you'll die, I'm sorry. Oh, will you? Can you tank? Just take tower, take tower. Okay. It's tanky, though. Just take tower. I'm coming, I'm coming, but I'm coming. Still take tower. I'm not coming, but I'm coming, but. You now mean. I will. If you can, can get me killed, I will be happy. Okay. Yeah, I'll try. There's no flash. I'll block the Q. I'll to the deck him. No, 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 no. You got oh, it. Get him, get him, get him, get it. Woo! Nice. <laughs> I need revenge. You did it because of like <laughs> good, good. Yeah. yeah, I was personal. I mean, I need kill. I'm zoning Lissandra, okay? Uh, oh, uh, that uh, was uh, really uh, personal, Cubs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking for Orn. End the game. Lissandra will go, Lissandra will go. He's chunked. No ult, no ult. I block, 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 block the ult. Go in, go in, go in. We can end, we can end, we can end. He nexes, okay? We end the game, we end the game, we end the game, we end the game. We end the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need game time, we need game time. He nexes, nexus, 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 nexus. Yeah, nexus, nexus. Nexus, 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 nexus. Nexus! nexus. Oh. Lee, 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 Lee. Whoa! <laughs> I want them to keep Jesus, please, that was... Welcome to the LEC post game lobby after week four of the Splinks, but I'm Draco's joined by G2's Perks and Mickey. Mickey, yeah, I want to welcome you here. It's been a while since we spoke Hello. to you. Perks, it's been less than 24 hours, I imagine. How How is your day? How are you doing? I'm back. You're back. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm doing great. Well, I didn't win against uh, Martin Reckless Larson since 2017 Spring Split. So for two years, only thing that took me was two long years and brought something to another role. <laughs> and now I managed to do it, so now my day has been filled. <laughs> Fulfillment. Holding the record for the fastest game in EU history against a team that I haven't won against in two years. Which usually I don't really care if I win or lose against someone, but like not winning a game against someone for two years, like it's it actually it actually feels very good to win and to defeat him in this own lane and then end the game in 20 minutes because my whole team is smurfing. It feels, it feels great. Honestly, I was not expecting us to play like this. I, I thought we would play, play, I mean, I thought we were very explosive, but I thought we would have to learn it first. And there's so many things that we have to learn. Uh, and I was like really, really worried about the beginning because when we learned it, I was really confident. But now we are performing really, really well before we even learned our like or learned how to play together as a team. So I feel like when once we learn how to play completely together and once we get really confident with each other, then it's gonna be a completely different issue.